Hi guys and welcome back to my channel where today I'm going to be hanging out with my little one and doing a quick video where I'm trying to do a reverse cat eye. I have slightly hooded eyes and I always want to do a good winged eyeliner but I haven't yet been able to find a technique that really works for me. I feel like I never get the angle right. You know it's always going too far up or downwards. I don't know. I thought a reverse cat eye might be a great solution to avoid the problem of hooded eyes altogether and also to help me figure out what the angle would be in the outer wing. If you've never been here before, my name is Rachel and I really like eyeshadow. I upload several videos every week. They're all eyeshadow related content. I hope you'll consider liking and subscribing before you go. Okay guys, as you can see, I already did the reverse cat eye on this side. Let me explain to you briefly what a reverse cat eye is in case you're not sure. Basically, a winged eyeliner usually starts from the top lashes and flares out in the wing shape. A reverse cat eye is where the, the wing starts on the lower lash line. So it gives a slightly different effect and it's a nice solution for people who have hooded eyes. I do have hooded eyes. They're not super, super deep, but probably, you know, halfway conceal my lid space. And I just think it's kind of a cool little effect. So I wanted to try a new technique I saw where basically you just run the, the waterline color all the way up until you leave the waterline and just keep going. So so what I'm going to do is I'm taking the Star Wars palette from ColourPop. I've already primed my eyes. Everything that I'm using is linked down below in the description box. I used the Glamlight Icing Primer. And I'm going to start with a light neutral wash of color in my crease and on my whole lid space. I'm taking the shades Starfighter and Alliance and mixing them together and just doing a wash of color everywhere because I want this to be a nice, soft, neutral sort of moment. I wanted to try the reverse cat eye. Not only is it a great option for hooded eyes because if the wing is coming out of the bottom, like the lower lash line, you don't have to contend with the hood at all. The hood usually covers the top area. If it's coming up from underneath, it just bypasses the hood. Unless maybe you have a super deep hood where the hooded area comes, I should point on this side, the hooded area comes down past, do you know what I mean, like this, and it might interfere with the lower lash line, but that's not the most common situation. And so a reverse cat eye is a great option for hooded eyes because it deals with the hood by simply entirely avoiding it. I'm now taking these same colors and putting them on my lower lash line. This is the B2 brush from Blend Bunny. I'm starting in my outer corner and letting it be a little bit darker out here. And once I've pretty much used up the product on my brush, I'll go back into the lighter of the two colors, which is Starfighter, and I'll bring that further in all the way to my inner corner. This is a really light, smoky kind of look. Today is my anniversary. My husband and I have been married for 13 years, and he doesn't particularly care for eyeshadow, but I really wanted to play a little bit today, so I'm, I'm doing a very neutral look in deference to his preferences. And when we go out to eat later this week to celebrate our anniversary, I won't wear any makeup. So anyway, I'm just taking some really light neutral tones and doing a gentle wash just to add a little bit of shadow, a little bit of pigment, but not much. Now, this is where we're gonna start the cat eye. This is just any black eyeliner. This one happens to be from Rimmel London. And again, it's all linked down below in the description box. I'm putting this on my whole lower waterline. I'm just tight lining everything. It's totally okay if it overlaps onto like the base of the lashes because all of it's going to be smoked out. And then I'm not going to talk while I do this because I might mess it up, but basically I'm just going to run the color on my waterline and then keep going into the wing shape because when I do wings, I struggle with getting the angle right. I tend to go up too far, so it's a little bit more scooped versus a nice... Um, <laughs> Versus what I want it to be, honestly. <laughs> when I do the cat eye, I'm not going to pull my lid down. I'm just leaving it relaxed and running it and then I'll keep going. So hopefully you guys can see that soft wing there. I think that that is more the angle I want. You don't have to do this for a reverse cat eye. If you want, you can just leave it like this as far as the wing itself. You might wanna smoke it out from here. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect it to my upper lashes. So I'm just gonna take the same eyeliner and do a line of black right at my lash line. And at the end of the lashes where it hits the outer corner of my eye, I'm gonna connect it into the wing that I just laid down.
Now this is not the creamiest of all eyeliners. I don't know if that's because it's a little bit older or if, because, if, if it's because maybe it's just not the best quality. I'm gonna take a nice flat brush. I would use an angled brush if I had one to hand, but I don't have one right here. And I'm dipping into the black in this palette. So I'm dragging that right along the top of the black I just put down and I'm using it also to enhance the wing. Adding in the shadow will make them easier to buff and blend out later. This is the perfect tool as well if I want to flick out that wing to make it thinner or longer. Then I'll just really carefully work at it with the edges of a pointy and more precise brush. And then I can dip into that black as well and use it to smoke out the lower lash line. So I can place it on top of the waterline to um, make the cream a little bit sturdier. And I can use this or a smudger brush to work at that edge. Now I'm going back into the Blend Bunny B2 and taking the shade Loyalty. This is sort of a mid-tone brown. You could also use First Mate if you want to, to be a bit more cool toned. I'm rubbing this into the top of the black shadow and the liner that I put down at the base of the lashes. And I'm really just smudging it all a little bit more and helping it grade away from the black into the mattes that I laid down as a wash on the lid space. It just helps it be less stark. Now from here, obviously you have some more choices. You could choose to leave it sort of soft and smoky and muted like this if you want to, or you could take an eyeliner and just paint over it. So now you've got essentially an area that you can trace to create your winged eyeliner. I think I'm gonna leave the outer corner smoky, but I think I'm gonna brighten the inner corner first. Now, if I were staying in the Star Wars palette, I would totally use either of these two shades as a nice bright pop at the inner corner, but I am doing a palette pull-in project. This is the palette I'm working through. I'll card it above if you don't know what I'm talking about, but the shade that I'm working on is now number four because I've done one through three already, and I'm gonna use that as a little inner corner highlight. Now, it's not as bright as I would want, so I might combine it with shade number two, but let me get a small sort of, here we go, a small blending brush. I'm gonna dip into the shade Sipping Soup. It's number four, and I'm not gonna spray it. I'll just pop it right here. It's adding a tiny bit of color, obviously. I just wanted to be a bit different. And I think this side, this side's looking a little shaky. <laughs> so now I'm taking the same brush and I'll go back into the first shade in the palette, which is called Precious Cargo. And I'll pop that on top as well to brighten up that green a smidge. And now I'm gonna do a little inner corner flick. So instead of, where did I put it? Okay, instead of tracing <laughs> tracing the eyeliner with a more liquid or gel, I'm just gonna create a small inner corner flick with this. I'm still debating or trying to decide whether or not I enjoy an inner corner flick. I think I like the look of it, but I think that they, if they go too crazy, they look pretty silly when you're actually looking straight on because that flick stays in place while the eye around it is moving. <laughs> And I just think it tends to look a little silly. So I'm, I'm still deciding how I feel about that. But basically I'm just creating a line in the inner corner downwards at a downward angle from the end of my upper lash line. Oh, this is a mess now. This is a brush tip and it got lost in my eyelashes. And then I'll merge it lightly with the lower lash line as well. It's just creating a very slight angled downward for like a cat eye or a fox eye. Maybe I would like it better if I weren't terrible at doing it. But anyway, you can absolutely trace over your established wing with something that's much more stark or you can leave it soft and muted and a little bit blown out, but not too much. I'm gonna take that small blending brush that I used for my inner corner. And I think I'll use the Star Wars palette just for kicks. I'll grab uh, Rebel Princess and put this up here. You could also obviously use the color that you used here. Whatever color it is, you could use a pink or a purple, any kind of lighter toned. It's gonna to be a nice fun pop of color there. And so I'm just highlighting the brow bone with Rebel Princess, or I could have used the green, Sipping Soup, or Precious Cargo, or anything really. I'm gonna add mascara. I'll be right back. All right, guys, my little one decided to join me for the last part of this video. Let me just close this out. To finish off, I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Aurora Glow Kit as a highlighter, and I'm wearing the NYX Butter Gloss Cinnamon Roll Shade on my lips. That's everything. I have some mascara, of course. This is the finished eye look. 
I'm sorry this video was a little bit spotty and a, maybe a little bit incoherent as well. I really wanted to try the reverse cat eye to have another tool in my toolbox, but also because I wanted to see if it would help me do a better winged eyeliner. I do like the effect. I like it with or without the top lashes added. I think it's pretty. I think it's fun. And I like that it totally avoids the problem of having hooded eyes. Again, unless your hood is quite heavy and comes down past your lower lash line, then a reverse cat eye is probably a really nice solution for you if you are interested in doing a winged eyeliner. Thank you for being here with me. Please tell me in the comments, what do you think? Have you tried this technique? Do you like it? Do you prefer it? How do you manage to get a wing if you do have hooded eyes? Have you tried other techniques? I have... I have been trying to get a decent eye, eyeliner wing since I started playing with eyeshadow. So that's like two years and I feel like my wings are still meh, they're okay, they're not great. I'm excited about a technique that might help me perfect them a bit more. So thank you for being with me today. I hope this video was even moderately helpful to you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up and I hope I will see you again in my next video, which is gonna be soon. Have a great day, bye.